Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Amanda and today I'm going to be doing this makeup look that I'm wearing right now using the Morphe X Caffeine Lights palette. This palette is so, so amazing. I got my hands on it the first time they launched and they actually sold out. So this palette is sold out right now, but they, I'm pretty sure Kathleen said they're bringing it out in, again in December, like before Christmas. So that should be soon. So if you can get your hands on this palette, I highly, highly recommend it. It's $15. It's super affordable and it is amazing quality. I have been using this palette pretty much every single day and I've created so many cool looks with it. I just I'm obsessed with this palette I love every collab Kathleen does and I'm so excited that she did a collab with Morphe because I absolutely love Morphe as you can probably tell because I use their palettes in pretty much every single one of my videos but the look that I decided to do today is a very smoky fall look uh, I decided to pair it with a nude lip but you could pair it with um, a bold lip if you wanted to to make it even more fall but today I was feeling the nude lip so if you are interested in getting this palette or anything else from Morphe, um, Kathleen has an affiliate code which gets you, I don't know how much it gets you off, but I got this for even less than $15 because I used her code. So I will have that linked in the down bar below if you want to use her code to get a certain amount off on any Morphe purchases. Anyways, I'll stop rambling now. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're interested in finding out how I did this look, then just keep on watching. Alright, so the first thing that I did was I went in with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and a It Cosmetics Concealer Blurring Brush, and I just put that all over my eyelids to prime them. And then I went in with this beautiful palette. I love this palette so much. Kathleen always does an amazing job with all of her collabs. Um, but I started off with just this kind of creamy white shade, and I put that all over my lid, all the way up to my eyebrows. I did this just to set the primer and to kind of make a base so it would be easier to blend other shadows on top of it. And then I went in with this really pretty light brown color and I put that in my crease using a LAB2 brush. Um, I just kind of used windshield wiper and circular motions to put that all throughout my crease. This is just the transition color so I wasn't being too precise with it but I mainly focused it in the outer V and then brought it the whole way in on my crease. And then I went in with this darker, more reddish brown color, and I used my Morphe M441 brush, and I did the exact same thing that I did with the light brown color, but I was a little bit more precise with this one. I still was just blending it all throughout the crease, but I didn't bring it up quite as far as I brought up the light brown color. So then I went in with this dark brownish gray shade and I used a Morphe M433 brush and I focused this just in the outer V of my eye. I brought it into my crease a little bit just to make everything kind of blend together, but I really packed this on in the outer V because this is the main shade in this look. And then I went in with the black and I used a more precise e.l.f. brush and I focused that just a little bit in the outer V just to kind of deepen it up a little bit. And then I went back in with my other brush and I just blended it out just to make sure that there weren't any harsh lines or anything and make sure it blended well with the grayer brown color from before. And then I went in with this beautiful highlight shade. Honestly, this video does not do it justice. This this color is so so beautiful i love it so much it's probably my favorite shade in the palette but i just put that all over the inner corner of my eye and kind of blended it in with the rest of the shadows
And then I went in with my Beauty For Real eyeliner that I got in my Ipsy bag a couple months ago. I've really been loving this eyeliner, and I just tight-lined my eyes. A lot of people really, really hate this, but I've been getting used to it lately, so it's something I really like to do. And then I went in with my Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner, and I first just lined my eyes, and then I decided to make a wing. And then I moved on to my face. So, of course, I started off by priming it with my Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. This is still my favorite. I know I use it in every single video, but I just love it. And then I decided to use a second primer today. I used my Too Faced Primed and Poreless, and I just put that in the center of my face and in my T-zone because my pores have been very big lately, so I wanted to use that before I put on my foundation. And for my foundation, I decided to use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Luminous, I think that's what it's called, foundation. And I just buffed that all over my face with an e.l.f. brush. And then I went in over top of it with an Ulta Beauty Sponge just to make sure everything was all blended out. Because for some reason, um, my brush was leaving it kind of streaky today. I don't know if it was the foundation or the brush because that never happens with this brush. But this was a new foundation, so I don't know. Maybe my brush was just super dirty or something. But I just went in with my sponge just to make sure that it was nice and blended. And then I went in with my Urban Decay Naked Concealer. I love this concealer. This is still my favorite. And I kind of went a little overboard with it that day. I'm not quite sure why, but um, I put it under my eyes and on the high points of my face. And then I blended it out using my Beauty Blender. And then I bronzed my face and I used the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and I forget what the brand of this brush is but I got it in my Ipsy bag a couple months ago and I absolutely love it. And then I went in with my RCMA No Color Powder and just a beauty sponge and I put that under my eyes, on my chin, below my bronzer and on my forehead just to kind of bake and set my foundation. And then using my Makeup Revolution palette, I forget which one this is, it's the smoky one, but I use this kind of taupey brown color to fill in my brows. And then I used an e.l.f. small taper brush to brush away all of the excess powder from my baking. And then I went in with the Laura Geller Highlight in the shade Gilded Honey and my Morphe M501 brush. And I highlighted my cheekbones and my nose and my chin and my cupid's bow. And then I used the same eyeliner that I used on my tight line and I put it on my waterline. I kind of went out of frame a little bit here, but you know how I do it. And then I just went in with an e.l.f. Um, brush and a little bit of the kind of burnt brown or reddish brown color from the Kathleen Lights palette and I smudged that on my lower lash line and then I did the same thing with the black and then I just made sure everything was blended and then I curled my eyelashes and I put on my favorite mascara right now which is the um, It Cosmetics Push Up I think it's called mascara. I love this mascara right now. It's my absolute favorite. And then for my lips, I first went in with my Kylie Jenner um, lip liner in the shade Exposed. And then over top of it, I went in with my NYX liquid lipstick in the shade Baby Doll. I really, really love this combination right now. Um, with this makeup look, you could also do a dark, more bold lip. But this day, I just wasn't feeling it, so I just decided to go with the nude lip. And then I put on a little blush, and what I used was ColourPop in the shade Holiday, and then I just set my face using my MAC Fix Plus. Alright, that's all for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. 
Just like in every video, I will have all of the products that I use linked in the down bar below. Um, don't forget to follow me on social media. I will have them all listed on the screen and they will also be in the description bar below. If you have any video requests, please leave those in the comments or message me on social media because I am looking for requests right now. I'm starting to get back into filming weekly because life has just been so hectic and it's finally starting to calm down a little bit, so I feel like I'm going to have a little bit more time. Um, I am planning on doing Vlogmas this year, so if you don't know what that is, it's where you vlog every single day for 25 days up until Christmas and then Christmas Day. I might not do mine like every day. I might... I might not do a single video every day. I might like put two days together or something just because I am still in school so my life isn't that exciting but it has some exciting things like here and there so I probably won't have 25 actual videos. So be on the lookout for that. That is everything for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!